Javier has died. Welcome back to Random Generation Gaming. We're gonna play something. And we playing Red Dead Redemption 2 Walkthrough Part 3. Now in our last episode, we went to go get that scallywag scoundrel, good old John Marston from the first game. He was pert near yonder and dang near dead pert near yonder in the mountains now we're gonna take place where we left off here and just two shakes of 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 horses lamb so before i get into this video i should let you guys know that i, I like to make really extravagant characters and i'm still working on my panthro character um for Bless Online, so I haven't done the Bless Online video yet, but stay tuned, the Bless Online video is coming, more Spider-Man coming, um, Fallout 76 beta is coming, I'm still working on my, I'm still working on my, uh, 15 Japanese only games, and my 15 games with movie franchises, and I got some more series like that coming up I won't spoil them some real special ones yeah I got some real special stuff coming up with my newborn daughter it's been behind but now that I'm doing commentary again I have slowed down the uploads instead of putting out 70 a month and I got a daughter so it's more like one a day but I got lots and lots of games in my uh, pipeline Lots of videos that I have to edit that are coming up. Alright, let's get into it. Since Javier took him a big slip and fall, it's time to retry the checkpoint and kill these wolves. Wolf it. Found out last video about the whole cinematic camera thing. That's pretty cool. You can switch everything to cinematic. But I don't remember how to switch to first person. That's, uh... I think you hold it. Nope. You just press it. Yeah, you just press it. This is how you, um, go to first person. Anybody who knows me knows I don't like first person. Distract them, Arthur! Shout! Shoot! Do something! The hell back! Ah. Get away from us! Ah. Got them all! Good work, Arthur. Okay, let's get going before any more of these bad So I could not aim in first person. Now I can? Hmm. Was it glitchy? Oh yeah. I like to zoom out, but then you got the cinematic camera, folks. Then you hit that old R3 to do your different cinematics. Okay, what now? Here I come, horse. Now, I don't want this stupid shotgun. You don't tell me what to do, boy. I want my pistol back. Horse cargo, hmm. My horse has nothing. Tennessee Walker. I'm gonna shoot this horse. What is R1? What does it say? Study? So can you level this horse up or what? Okay, boy. Let's go. Come on then. Let's get back to the I'm going to milk her again. Like he said in kids and all crazy farmer. I don't feel too good. I'm going to mount my fine. horse. It's just like a, a dog bite. Uh, you know, fella? Got bit by a dog. Uh -huh. Died. An hour later. Yeah, that's the rabies. Not yet. He 
You ain't gonna die, you old son of a bitch. Well, shit, like he said in South Park. I'm gonna get out of here. I want that drama. Jeez, I can't. More coming in on the left. You want it with me, you stupid wolf? You lupine? Come on, horse. See, I didn't need no dang shotgun. Stupid old horse. There's another one. Don't think so. Let's reload, boy. You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. Press L1 to put away an equipped Thanks weapon. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. Should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know? Wolves usually attack in packs. Come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving. Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. We got a lot of hurt people John. up in this house. That's where we camped. Nearly there. Hey, you don't need to be any more attention. Yeah. See, I'm left-handed, so I'm always getting confused. We get some help here. Uh oh. Where's our people at? Can we get some help? We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. All right, here we go. There we go. Ah, you oh. careful. It's your thighs. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. And he's calling the women idiots. This is idiots. new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talk about how we're going to get out of this. I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I uh, suppose we'll have to keep heading Pretty east. Germany. East into all that, that civilization. I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. <sighs> I don't want to get no damn city slickers in the east coast. What, you trying to go to New York City? New York City? They don't know nothing about no buffalo sauce. We've been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. But I'm Arthur Morgan, Ghostface Killer. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. He's found doubt. No. Doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly mm. anything new. I hope not. Hmm, this old yeah, good old Blackwater. Luck. But then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit and we go back to Blackwater and we get our money or we get some more money and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. What's chapter? Got this. What's the difference between chapter and page? Stay. Blackwater. Stay strong, Jose. That's a lot of writing. That's a lot of writing and arithmetic. Lots of words. Got ten fingers, ten toes. I'm gonna be a 
double knot spy. He's a poetry writer. He's writing poetry or something. He ain't no tough cowboy. There's no way I'm about to read all this. about that Sadie girl. She's writing what just happened. Oops, I did chapter by mistake. Keep doing chapter by mistake. What happens when you do page? the same thing. Page and chapter is like the same thing. Hmm. I like to write in my journal book. Wonder when they gonna invent the TV look at it box. That's from Square Billy's the TV look at it box. Have me a seat. Drink a beer. Or some cerveza. Search this thing. Sitting here conducting a search. Now I knew I found a bunch of medicine in the first time I played, but I had to restart the game. Because I wanted to upload this video. And I found a bunch of uh, medicine. And then it wasn't, a, I didn't see a medicine cabinet the second time I played. What was that about? Satcha. And then what does holding down do? Oh, wow. Makes it bigger. Compass. Regular. Expand it. Oh, regular. But I, I can deal with the bigger one. I'm not a big care if the UI gets cluttered type thing. I already searched this drizzer. Close the drizzer. Feel like Snoop Doggy Dog. Sand drizzer. Searching the drizzer. Does that say sit? Because from here it looks like it says sir. I gotta talk to these old redneck Redneck cowboys over here. So as you can tell, I'm pretty tired. But I want to bring some Red Dead Redemption to, to my followers on the YubiTube. some of that red dad uh, me with some uh, her booty she give me that booty one thing about red dead redemption it lets it turns your controller like red on the ps4 that's pretty cool come on lady let me get in them guts 
knows you wants to talk to me. Oh, my mistake. She's in here getting purdy. At a time like this, she's trying to get purdy. Shoot her. Can't pull out my guns, huh? You okay in here, Molly? It might be warmer by the fire. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Oh, oh you give me sorry. them guts. Well, try to stay strong. Okay, Arthur. Oh, you let me get up in them guts now. Nah. Keep a man warm. It's cold out here. It's cold up here in frozen Montana. Or Texas. Where I am. It's sure enough cold in the winter. I gotta speak to you two bastards. Good old Dutch always reading the book. He got the readings and the writings, see. He got the reading smarts. He knows the whole alphabet. Hmm, look at this old empty room in here. What's this buzz saw thingy? See if I talk to these okay, fellers. Thank you. Thank you for bringing John back. Finally, some relief. He's beat up, but he'll be all right, I hope. Well, just hang in there. Thank you, Arthur. You loves you some John Marson. You so happy that he's back. What about you, boy? Ken, Ken, boy. How you, you doing a lot of fire? Here? been coughing a lot. That's the cold. Thank you for bringing John back. Of course. Don't you know fire bad? That's my pally Frankenstein. Nah. Now Bill and Dad supposed to be picking me up soon for an excellent adventure. I like how you can just walk through the doors. I'm gonna miss the snow. You know the snow is gonna blow over. one of my TR gets nope. Ooh, sorry. TR get. We should invent a store and name it Target. See what happens. What you think about that? I greet you now. Another cold morning. How are you holding up? Oh, you know, freezing to death. You'll be okay. Okay, Arthur. Oh, excuse he, me. He was all sarcastic, then the last question he gets serious, or last reading. Okay, Arthur. Up with you boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you. Yeah, the oh, shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> a party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> oh, I, <hate> races, <laughs> oh, I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop <laughs> it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on, 
Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both men That's all I have to say. You sure about this? We're back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como O'Driscoll. Let's go. Or Monobop. Bushwhack or Monobop. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscoll's about. Yeah. Wonder if I can save that because right, I'm Arthur? getting sleepy. Yeah. Oh, we he ran out the whole posse. Southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's see if I can save yet because he didn't let me save before. Wow, currently unable to manually save. So am I going to have to play this whole thing again to get up to this part? Let's at least see what this is about. Follow Dutch Schultz. Shit up. You don't shut up. There's quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. I think I'm going to talk to this guy instead. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Annabelle, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. So what a coincidence. Their mortal enemies or their rivals are out here somewhere with them. Whoa! Don't listen to them. All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Let's break the rules and see what happens. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. <laughs> oh, this game is getting pretty good. I'm going to follow him on my horse here. Get off your horse. Get a spot. I don't care.
There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Get to grab that rifle from your horse. Rifle. I wonder what will happen. Boys, be ready to pick them off. Uh oh, right don't fall. You got it, Dutch. Don't fall. I wonder what will happen if I just start shooting. Yeah. Well, I want to end the video anyway, cause I'm dozing off. <sighs> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe comment share the video with your friends follow me on twitter follow me on instagram even though i haven't really got into the instagram thing yet please donate to the paypal check out all the upcoming videos and thanks for watching random generation gaming red dead redemption complete walkthrough part three see you next time yeah